one of the most godly and love-filled moments you can have is your reconciliation. There's been plenty of times I've been here <clears throat> and my wife normally has already started where most and not to disparage her Heavenly Father saying, just say it. Lukewarm existence is never going to fulfill or satisfy you. It's one of the reasons I preach so much against it. But it also fulfills the scripture in your life and you need to be taking the gospel and my apostles. And I never once said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Saul, why are you persecuting me? And then took the entire lukewarm church for a while. Okay. <clears throat> I also came to remove sight from those that could see. But before that, I gave sight to the blind. And I'm also here to be a sign. Per messianic scripture. <clears throat> It is better for someone to have never known the ways of righteousness than to have known them and departed from them. But when the reconciliation is undeniably from me, then you're looking at that comfort and that knowing is a sensation that is foreign to many, but it's going to be different than whatever comfort you're attempting to cover yourself with. That isn't my blood. And many had debates <clears throat> because they did not take into account the last day. Oh Lord, how long will I call for help and you will not hear? I cry out to you violence, yet you do not save. Why do you make me see iniquity and cause me to look on wickedness? For destruction and violence are before me. Strife continues and contention arises. Therefore the law is ineffective and ignored, and justice is never upheld. For the wicked surround the righteous, therefore justice becomes perverted. For the wicked surround the righteous, for the wicked surround the righteous. Here's how I reply. Still to this day, remembering time does not exist. Look among the nations, see, be astonished, wonder, for I'm doing something in your days you would not believe it if you were told. <clears throat> so the continuation of the kingdom of heaven, and much like many came to the godly understanding that I gave to an individual, that this is of God. Nothing can stop it. And we may find ourselves fighting against God himself. And for those that don't know, they had a debate about this new thing I had done called the way, the gospel, salvation, <clears throat> the understanding of one individual who held the fullness of God, expounding upon what was already a temporary, as far as how it was seen in heaven, answer to a bondage situation. My people found themselves in bondage many times. <clears throat> and then as different um, pieces of my creation started to be utilized more and more by man 
to create other creations that I would utilize. Everything was set and I showed up, much like today. <clears throat> When you're taking into account this person is doing something they never used to do. This person is living completely different and doesn't really seem like one of us anymore. This person has prioritized an entirely different lifestyle than they once did. This person has a different presence now all of the indications that someone has been transformed into a new creation as is what happens when you get taken into the air you become like me you are with me for eternity transformed in a twinkle of an eye and like many will tell you, well, the Lord didn't really give me a choice. <laughs> I didn't really have a choice. And they preached on that. If the Lord calls you, yeah, what do you guys say? It's a wrap. So <clears throat> once you understand those types are still the happiest, and you were technically willfully abducted because the scripture talks about I would make a way out if there was ever any temptation. You're looking at two classes of people, those that are part of my bride, those that are not. Careful that you don't find yourself on the outside of the wall. When you, that confirms what I was talking about, are like myself, and just to take the steps with everyone and give an example of how a walk, because they stated I lived the perfect life, I will again and have again. <clears throat> He who knew no sin became sin. However you're looking at it, overcame the world. A lot of it had to do with choices, always choices, pleasing man or pleasing God. Started with uh, what I used to say. I sat under Andy Stanley. Then someone came up to me when I was talking to them. This was during the Age of Grace. Have you heard of his father, Charles Stanley? Then from there, Joyce Meyer. Then from there, Francis Chan. Then from there, an example of me leading somebody out of the church. He gave up a flourishing church his priority was no longer what it was. He had outgrown it. Have you outgrown the situation you are in? Is one question to ask yourself. When you see the people in my kingdom functioning in their calling, their purpose, you have an indication there definitely is a living God. Many people started out, I don't believe the Bible. Now they profess my name. You might be one of them. When you're looking at somebody as like you and you're empathetic rather than sympathetic, that's an aspect of love. When you're looking at someone from the spiritual perspective, I always have to, does this person have a demon? Because you understand Armageddon and this is war.
I always like to caution my people. on how to be able to determine that. If you are close to me, I'm simply going to tell you. If you are not, it's gonna be more and more difficult for you. When you take into account all of the factors of existence at this particular moment, if I am not in the world, then they more than likely have a demon. <clears throat> My Heavenly Father was having me watch this movie. And there was these ships. And they would shoot down this grappling hook and pull somebody up out of nowhere. That is a very good depiction of people that were sifted rather than taken into the air remaining with me because you always have the choice rather that grappling hook slam them into the ground that scripture fulfilled as well your kingdom spouse because you needed somebody that and in every family i guarantee you there is someone who has my spirit of truth <clears throat> in your life it's your kingdom spouse if you're one of my kingdom spouses, remember it's okay to pause and ask me. Just want to make sure, Lord, this is what you want me to do. That is how you should be going about something. I'm not testing anybody. It's not a season of uh, where I grow silent. I'm not increasing endurance at this moment. If you're my kingdom spouse, you're simply like anybody that's been called realized well i didn't really have a choice but <clears throat> you are my heavenly father saying confirm one more thing yeah a great victory that day the people returned after him only to take the spoil of the slain. Next to Eleazar was Shema, the son of Agi, the Herorite. The Philistines were gathered into an army where there was a plot of ground full of lentils, and the people of Israel fled from the Philistines. But he took his stand in the center of the plot and defended it and struck down the Philistines, and the Lord brought about a great victory. And we were already led to this same exact scripture. So if I continually put, it's in a few videos previous to this one, the same exact understanding in front of you that my spirit of truth, my Holy Spirit, me, is pointing you towards as your next step that's a step but what you are doing you already know i'm just keeping you as the scripture says <clears throat> using my church slides here aha one flesh There have been many times <clears throat> my wife will come here and the entire place I do not have a nicer way of putting it spiritually gets bombed to hell. Like the entire place is just dark, demons just swirling all around. It's a war zone. What I learned in that <clears throat> it's a repetitious choice to love through it all. It's a repetitious choice to not be easily offended and 
see it as, well, this is part of my calling. This is part of my destiny. This is how I'll help others. My testimony. It's a state of desiring not to be unhappy, bitter, or ignorant to the fact, yes, there are demons. Yes, they do influence your mood. Yes, it does cause a change in you. I've also seen my wife go from on fire to me. The music started to change, the secular music, her attitude started to change. All of the indications when I'm discipling someone in person, I no longer believe you're Jesus. Rather, I finally got the confirmation that you aren't Jesus. I believe you're not Jesus. So that means I'm not in this perilous situation. You deceive yourself. I am who I say I am. And so is my Heavenly Father. <clears throat> and you are in a perilous situation. You have, some of you, dwindling down to two months of grace <clears throat> to fix your kingdom marriage. Many of those that did not believe after something happened, that is the reason they believe. So when you're always focused on your reconciliation, you want the best for your spouse. You want to be able to say, I did everything I could. And I tell you the truth, some of the most amazing moments I've had is when the door just slides open and my wife walks right in. I'm sitting there feeling the devil turn my thoughts against her. What's she really doing? What's going on? There is a sense of relief when you reconcile first in the spirit because my spirit inside is only saying, slow down, slow down, slow down. I raised your kingdom spouse and your prodigal to life. Okay? That required the scripture being fulfilled. The father has the power to give life. He also gives the power to the son to give life. I am in sun mode right now to fulfill scripture. <clears throat> the spirit and the bride said, come, I came. He came to his own, but they did not receive him. That happened. The world was made through him, but did not recognize him. That happened. So, um, You and your spouse are a very special creation to me. My Holy Spirit connects to the me and your spouse. You feel whole. That's step one. Relief. A different sensation. Going to your kingdom spouse, for you prodigals, light. An entirely different character, an entirely different discipline. You will see them use terms like, but the spirit wouldn't let me, just like in Acts. That's a good way to tell a counterfeit. Spirit said this, or my uh, different um, levels of maturity from where and how long they've been walking with me. Um, I can name names of people that have done great things for me and that have also fallen. I can tell you exactly when that time came where, okay, we are no longer in the age of grace. It's in the videos. Perfect. 